it's not not terrible. Uh, Doom is still available. Timber. Now they're gonna go under. Oh, this is also a statement. Well, yeah, they're giving up CS in order to try and yeah, get first blood, and they do get good. it for fly. I lose be off that. Yeah, which is pretty damn nice for them. Yeah, this is crazy. There's people dying all it's over. It's probably the place. just them CSing and just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's flashlights in the hallway now. These nice little ASMR sound effects here as we enjoy the quiet ramp up of this game. Nice bench stun into the rupture. They're going to try and turn this. Do we have swap up yet? I don't think he's level 6. going to try and stay in his ground with the Legion. You, you enjoy it there? I think it's a good strategic idea. It's a good way to force fights if you want to be aggressive like Panko's trying to do now. That is true. Rolling Thunder coming through for nine here. He'll clean him up with the sword. The fly, impromptu saving here. Looks like uh, we're going to have our Leshrac going in. Our TZ trying to chase after 33. Going to chase him into the river with Crit coming in from the other side. They will easily get that kill, but they do have the rupture on out. Snaking, going to play the distance, see if he can stop that TP. He does with a magic missile, stops him. A little bit of heals where he can, but of course Skeeter easily cleans this fight. He's real damage you build. might not expect. And so he might just be coming down to how much farm Abed can get off of this mid Oh, abuse. big damage. Abed is getting fat here. Yeah, it looks like he took tower. that tower. He's taken the Pango's life. Taking, uh, of course, the biggest question in this game is, can your Lashrak survive when you run him in like this? Man, they're really chasing deep uh, to get, get this it. snaking kill. They'll get it. I guess they just feel like there's nobody else around to respond. Splitting the wickets, getting a little bit of everything. Just looking up the tempo as... The kills continue. Yeah, with the relocate coming in, is that silence going to last long enough? It looks like they've got him. Double kill for Very RTC. Nice. Is Shopify beginning to pick up the pace a little yeah, bit? I mean, we'd say Shopify, then you're cruising because this Tundra lineup does not deal well with the second life. And another relocate for another snaking kill. This mid lane is a death trap right now. I, mean, I, I think there's himself. a route there. I think part of this Legion pick is also to go behind the two other cores. Not necessarily have that the damage guys is immense. They're going to be able to get the easy dual win yeah, as Saberlight. Sandwiches him from the other side. What else would it be? I guess you can go Kaya here. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, Kaya, Kaya, Yasha, Kaya, Sanj. Actually, not sure which one I would use. See, they're gonna go for it. See if they can burst him down. But the Bloodstone is going to work, and they have the heals from the IO as well. They just do not have enough, and the rest of Shopify Rebellion are gonna come in soon. Arteezy might die. The question is, ooh, the relocate just really late there from Fly. Okay, I'm gonna curse the hell out of him right. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did too. To be fair. That's a little too aggressive, you know? Five heroes from Tundra are waiting for him to walk up the hill and the reload can't come out in time because there's a rolling thunder going through everything. I also thought the rest of Shopify would like... Go to him. Or you can put it on Abed. Dessel's actually finished. So he can actually just go in too with this extra damage. That's what it looks like it's going to be. I like this. match you find in this map, even if it's just a trap, even if it's just a rundown, should convert into a kill. Duel is not going to be one. They'll obviously get the kill, but... Letting Tundra get a lot and remain in a closed position... So when you make this type of smoke, Tundra are just waiting for you. When you jump in, they're all going to be here. Well, that's a Bloodseeker illusion. Doesn't okay, they're going to go for the Underlord. They did not get no distracted swap. by the illusion that just showed up in time. The swap was unfortunately a bit too far away. They just... For the Legion Commander, just because I want to see like a clean jump that you can't really mess with in any way. He's thinking about the Sanj. Ooh, that Lincolns! Yeah, catching Skeeter! Even He's if he can stop the duel, the swap goes out. Maybe they can still chase after him, though. Pops a man to get rid of the slow from the TA trap, but this is still Tundra in an awkward position. Yeah, you don't Even the if damage. they save their Bloodseeker, without the Bloodseeker, they can't win the fight. It's never going to be bad for Shopify if you start on the Bloodseeker. There's no way you're turning that. There's a window here for Tundra to maybe make something happen. But they don't have Rupture, man. I mean, what are you doing without Rupture here? Well, I, I think, think Tundra's anything. asking themselves the same question, but this long silence on the Pango is killing him, oh, and that split earth was even better. Artur killing Tundra. That one shot, not quite enough to finish up Skeeter. 33, slowed down quite a bit. They're going to keep chasing after him. All the way underneath the tier man. threes, perhaps? No, they back away. No need to uh, die. Doable, though. Doable. Doable. Throwable. Also. <laughs> Throwable. Yeah, Very Shopify throwable. have done that before. Don't forget the cheese. Now, yeah. if you study the replays of Tundra at Bala, you would know this is the, the, the exact spot that AUI hit in, in that game. Yes, it was. In upper bracket. First game in. So, back to the replay board, I guess, as AUI survives. Artort, I would say he's 
being threatened here, but honestly, I don't Relocate know is going to be able to reset this fight. So it does mean they could chase after some of these other heroes. Unfortunately, Crit don't really have the vision on him. And they're going to come back soon, so they can't overextend themselves. That IL Lesh, you got to get away from that uh, relocate point. I don't even know if you had to reload an arrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was, there was no real threat. But, you know, better to be safe than sorry. They get the duel on to AUI and another duel win for Saberlight. Mega amped here between him and the IO and the neutral item. The scary part is you could do a lot of damage very quickly, and if you take down the primary tower defender, that becomes that much easier. A sign to be able to catch uh, Snaking. A force forward, a Hurricane Pipe pushes Snaking a little bit in danger Natural. here, but nine. Oh, look at those impetuses raining in and doing absolutely nothing, but because the heal. It's just too much right, from this Skeeter. IO. Skeeter's here, but he can't really fight this last yeah, track. It's looking it. real bad for him. The damage is just very lackluster. Uh, AY's getting there bit by bit. Swap fountain back in. Swap. Does manage to get nine into the fountain, which RTZ and the rest of Shopify are getting very close to, despite the fact they haven't even finished up this tier three tower yet. And now there is no creep wave. You have no rupture. You have no swap. You have impetuses. That's about it. Well, the high ground just got instantly broken there. You got a snaking buyback. Build crash. They're going to send the Harpy in. Might be able to get some information off these illusions. Ooh, Underlord coming in through the side, trying to check something out, but they immediately find an opportunity to get on top of AUI 2000. RTZ charging forward with that bloodstone. Pops BKB, Split Earth goes out, and they do manage to get the swap back, getting Skeeter out of danger, but this is definitely a lost fight. It's just a question of how many heroes are going to get caught in this one. It looks like it's going to be 9 up, 33. He's going to die as well. Skeeter's the only one who can get out alive on the side of Tundra. Shopify win the fight and will take Roshan. And we. The only lane phase from Shopify has eight dividends here as they control the map, control the kill tempo, shut down Tundra to seven kills, and now push this lead to almost 30,000 gold. Now, this is going to be a weird bit of disenergy. Looks like Aghanim Scepter is going to be consumed by RTZ, so. Got to be careful Lincolns. of how he uses that. Breaks the Lincolns with the Heaven's Halberd. Gets the duel, allowing the relocate to come in. And they've got the chain stuns thanks to the Scythe to follow it up. So very clean. Very good pickup. And that is very likely going to prompt Tundra into a buyback once they have that under the charge. But of course, Shopify had the wave pushed in mid. And they could take those lanes of barracks and then turn it into top. That is a whole TP. 33 trying to make himself a target, perhaps. They got to blink backwards, but RTZ moves forward. Okay, and they, they immediately the pull the IO out of a bad position. That means he's going to die. RTZ is going to be brought in deep next to the tier four towers. Might be able to finish off 33, kited. though, but he's being kited around. This is quite bad. Meanwhile, Saberlight and Crit are trying to deal with Skeeter okay, right now. Wants to be able to pick off these supports. <laughs> Pops Mantic gets that kill right before the duel can come in, but the duel is going to be lost. The blade Ooh, mail is too much mail. to handle with Abed doing so much, and this is going to be the first life of RTZ. As he freely gifts it away to AUI 2000. After all, there are no more buybacks on the side of Tundra, so this fight has already been won. And I think RTZ knows the game is over. Indeed, it is. Tundra will call it for this game too. Shopify will right the ship a little bit here, looking a lot better. A change of pace in both their draft and ideas. Yeah, some uh, flexibility as well. Yeah. They end up working really well on the lanes, and then they just power into a really nice IO Lesh game. I think. The safe lane lush is a little slower because you have to get the levels elsewhere, whereas the mid lush has a lot more solo XP. Yep. They get it done, though. They find some good relocation kills off of some duels that was helping create some map pressure to help counteract what Tundra wanted to do with the lane jump. That was a big problem in game one. There are a lot of little things that work better for them this game around. They also have more damage to play through Abed, who had a much better early game. And just, I mean, him and Artur were out to the races on top of that net worth chart. So much EHP to try and fight through here. I didn't really like this counter IO Lesh idea. I think it's it's interesting to try here for Tundra. I don't know if they're too sad about that game. They gave IO Lesh and they tried some answers to it. Yeah.